After the book, after we finished the book, I uh, I thought, well, we should have a uh, we shouldn't quit here. You know, we should have a newsletter, and so I established the newsletter, and um, it's in its 25th year now, and uh, so uh, it seemed to be a natural outgrowth of the book. I thought. And, and, and that then, newsletter is The Weaver's Friend? Right, it's called The Weaver's Friend. And it comes out twice a year, and um, it's about, I know you asked about, it's about 600 people, maybe. It's not a large uh, subs uh, subscribers list. And about 200 come and 200 go <laughs> each year, so that works out fine. And, and people have been very generous about sharing their stories and their pictures and their projects. And, and, um, and then it became evident that people needed um, manuals, you know, for some of these looms that we were seeing. And um, so I began collecting manuals. People were very generous to send me um, manuals, they still do. And um, so now I have a collection um, about 50 or 60 different companies, I think, or kinds. I try to um, keep the company's manuals, um, but if the company is still in business, I don't um, necessarily, I don't collect those, in other words. First and foremost, it was the Union Loom Company. That was the most requests I got were, uh, for that manual. And then for the um, Newcomb Loom, company. Uh, that was about second. And then the Dean Loom Company, it kind of have lined up according to when people give them up. You know, I mean, there's mm -hmm. a there's a surge of <laughs> certain ones, like the Hammett Loom is, uh, a lot of people are kind of giving those up now. They had them in schools and in um, nurse, nursing homes.